This is Tenora Kuranov, your friendly neighborhood gamer mouse, and more Solo Joe, part 7. This will be the end of the parts where there's weird artifacting, because I'm recording with my lossless codec again, and trying to not skip the inter intermediary step and just record it lossy, because it doesn't seem to work so well, apparently, for whatever reason. I don't know why exactly it does that, but, uh... Oh, hey! I didn't know the... Access Fund was opening up a new destination already. But I'm saving up for that technique. But there's a new destination that could be more people to talk to. For 200. Uh yeah, let's look at we can do but uh, let's look at what we can do here. Uh sports racer, uh I couldn't seem to see the protection in there, so There's Mother Tongue over here on Celebration Rocks. Let's take a look at that. Okay, that's all the same route. Indirect humanization, sports racer, which for some reason I couldn't protect before. I don't know. Do I need, like, more trad route knowledge? I don't even know. I'll have to take a look at that later. When I get Trad Chica, or whatever her name is, to... teach me a bit more. Mother Tongue, let's see what this is. A big huge crack over there, there's little ones over there, and I don't know which to protect, so I'm gonna have to bring some big camming devices or something. Oh. That way seems to lead to a piton that, as of right now, has nothing on it. <clears throat> this way, we get the little cracks. It's really hard to tell what goes to what routes here, doesn't it? Ah, eh, jeez. Weird routes, weird routes. Okay, now Sad Man's Tongue is the one that goes along here and up this way, so... So then where does this go? This must go... up along here or something. Or... something like... no? This isn't confusing at all. Okay, Celebration of Mediocrity goes up here and up around there and clips in there, so this other route clips in over here. Okay. Ugh. So bring lots of little nuts, a couple of the bigger size nuts, and some camming devices. That should probably do it. Ugh, boy.
Okay, sorry that took me so long to plan that, but that was kind of confusing. <sighs> Why am I getting stuck? Oh. Okay. Well, we're protecting this route pretty good. Uh, which way am I supposed to go? Upwards or... Ah, shoot, son. Frick. Oh, ah. I guess I went the wrong way. Jeez, there goes my on site. Man, these routes start to get confusing. You don't really know where to go. At times. Up or sideways on that, or this way, or this. Oh, geez, what the frick? That scorpion just tried to go after me. What the heck? Okay, maybe I do have to smear this part here or something. Oh, gosh. <laughs> that rope's looking like a mess, isn't it? Oh, jeez. Ah! <laughs> Dang it, I let it run out. Man, okay, so this is a weird route. It's a weird path. There's like a dead end to it. That has, like, no purpose whatsoever for anything else. Ay, ay, ay. You gotta go this way and kind of smear your way up the wall here. Well, yikes, that was quite a tricky route, that uh, mother tongue there, jeez. Climb to a high first piece and down climb and traverse into the right face and... Power through the crux and clip the anchors. So what was it I did? Am I supposed to go around some other way? I don't... I'm not even sure if what I did was what I was supposed to do, but... Uh... You know what? Oh well. Let's see. Duckies. This route offers a variety of challenges. Most climbers find the meandering nature of this route to be appealing. I thought, almost thought that said appalling. And the pro is straightforward. Be sure to get some gear in early as things get interesting right away. Oh dear. Well, I got a free nut, I guess. Not the expensive trad gear, but hey, it's free trad gear. Right. 
Okay. Nah. I think that's another route altogether. Yeah. And this goes over here. Definitely need some cams. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's figure it out. Um, definitely want lots of small and medium nuts for one thing. Lots of those. I don't know about that many, but... Uh, And I think I do want some of these camming devices. Nothing too big, but just in case. Because there's like parallel cracks and stuff, but they're not big, so... Okay. Oh, jeez. Ah, frick. I hit Z, really? I was clearly down. I'm an idiot. Ugh, I hate when I spoil on sites with these stupid tech cruxes. I hate them. Oh, well, good thing I clipped that in. Okay. Okay. Oh, jeez. Frick! Ah, oh, I hit X instead of Z. Mixed them up. Dang it! I really hate these techs. Ugh. Okay, clip into that cam, and okay, crap, okay, still got to the rest hold, so, goody, can I, there we go. I guess I need more of the smaller cams, huh? <laughs> oh my. Okay, another power crux. Oh boy. Okay. Come on, where's the shuts? Show me the shuts. Yes! Whew. That was... Man, look at that meandering path. Ooh. Duckies. That was another tricky one. Ooh. Ugh. Ugh. I got some points. 510A is my grade now. We're in the double second digit there. Sweet. So it was duckies on Celebration Rocks. It's in a hand basket on Catastrophe Rocks. 
It's a bolt route, too. It's a sport route, so shouldn't be too difficult. Let's head over to Catastrophe Rocks. Doing some... I named the last part of this... I named, like, what, part five coastal climbing, but I actually didn't do a whole lot of coastal climbing in that part. I unlocked it, and I did, like, 157 route or something. Ugh. In a hand basket. Okay. Is someone seriously awake upstairs? It's like one... No, two in the morning. No one should be awake. Frick's sake. Okay, let me figure out where this route leads. One, two, three, four, and then... And what? I'm actually kind of confused now. Oh. Four bolts lead to a long roof. Traverse out left to the RJ. Offers many different challenges. That's only one good clipping stance, so be careful to clip in when you can. Master the RJ, and it's a simple traverse to the anchors. So I guess it goes do 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 and then this part, which is supposed to be the challenging part, I think. And then it goes out here to clip in, so I actually need like six of these. Okay. Here we go then. Okay, I guess I skipped one, but doesn't matter. Oh my, this is going to be interesting. You can tell there's going to be like a bunch of cruxes here. Okay. And a technical, just what I wanted. Oh hey, I did it. Sweet. Oh, yes! <laughs> yeah. On sight. That's what I like to see. So I have 741 cash. I really want to learn whatever that technique is from Danger Dan. So I did in a hand basket on site. Um, let's go to 62 River Valley, see what there is. There's Truffle Shuffle. Lady versus the Gak Gak. Poke your eye out, it needs a dino, so that's out. Um. Oh, and Truffle Shuffle, you need special skills to take advantage of a unique rest, too. So that's also out. Huh. Is there anything new on Jack's Rocks? Or not anything new, anything new I can do. There's climb another day and one in the grave, the other in sticky rubber on the mutant hamster. 
Long, technical, and hard to decipher, first claimed by Robert O'Sullivan, but only after pitching off the first crux and decking, not once but twice. Must have had some Phoenix Downs, I guess. Be careful getting off route. Mutant Hamster. Okay. One, two, three. Wait, what? Okay, one, two, three. Four, five, I think it's five. It's kind of hard to tell, isn't it? I think I'll bring the six just in case. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. So we go this way. Clip into there. Oh, jeez. Okay, good. That's a rest hold. <sighs> okay. I'm expecting some sort of crux here or something. Yep. Oh, jeez. Okay. Clip in there. Eh. Okay. Eh. All right. Okay, we're good. Man, this is a long route. I'm imagining the final area being like some huge thing that doesn't even have a grade or something, like Mondo Rock or something, but it actually takes skill to climb it rather than a metric fuck ton of trial and error. That'd be that'd be pretty awesome, actually. It would be like this game's equivalent of a boss fight. Some previously uncategorized climb or something. Ugh. Does that spider do anything or does it just kind of sit there? That one scorpion tried to chase after me. That was freaking weird. Sweet. On site for a crazy thing like that. Nice stuff. Yeah, one in the graves, the other in sticky rubber. Five nine. On sight. Climb another day on Mama. Let's take a look at that. Oh boy. I wonder where this gear is. Probably that carabiner. Climb another day, let's see. Does seem pretty straightforward. Okay. Uh, 
definitely bring some smaller nuts, some slightly bigger nuts. Maybe one of these. A couple of camming devices of various sizes. Let's see what we can do with this. Wow. Okay, I took a bigger cam, but uh, it's okay, I can dig it. It's pretty easy to protect. Oh, what? I hit up. I hit up, you piece of crap. Ah. Okay. Ugh. Jeez, that was a quick one, I guess. Ugh. Gotta be a rest hold somewhere. Damn. Man. Ugh. This is crazy. Nuts. Uh, man, how am I supposed to do that? Uh, seriously. There's like no places to rest, like at all. Dicks. Is this a rest hold? Oh, it is. I haven't seen one that looks like that before, so... Okay, I didn't know that. If I'd known that... I could have done this... Cake. Man. I feel so stupid now. Okay, up to the shuts, come on. Yeah! Did it at least. Man. There's a carabiner on that wall too, and there's gear up there, so you know what? Now that I know what I'm doing, and this route doesn't seem too bad, let's try and get some of the extra stuff. Because why not? Can I make my way up here? Yoink! Mine! Awesome. Okay. Dang it! I hit right instead of left. Oh, well, got the carabiner. And we have another point. Goody. Okay. Uh. 
Okay. All right. Now let's see if we can get that gear pickup. I don't know what it is, but... You never know, it could be something valuable. Or, you know, it could be something that's not even worth it. Ah, dang it. Once again, I think I need that dino skill to do anything with that. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Need that dino skill. I don't know if that's Danger Dan's thing, or if he'll teach me something else useful. Whatever it is, I need to learn it. Okay, let's clip in and get our stuff back. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Um, let's see. Well, we got three aluminum beaners. We're getting close to getting a second silver one. Mm. My throat seems especially dry tonight. I don't know why. It's, a, it's weird. My throat always seems to be drier when I'm doing Let's Plays and not when I'm just like sitting with my friends talking. Maybe it's the stage fright. Because I know people are going to see me do this. Even though it hasn't actually happened yet. Um. Yeah, we've already done everything we can on here so far. Purity of Essence. I wonder if I could solo that. Or Paid in Fool. Uh, I don't know. I mean, seems like I'd be able to. Seems like I'd be able to at least have a fighting chance of doing that. Purity of Essence isn't even on this wall, is it? Yeah, it's on the stainless wall. Okay, let me, uh, kind of make sure of what we're in for and climb it harnessed first. It's just a four bolter, so let's take those. There's a crux in there somewhere that I want to know of before I start climbing it. Okay. Up, up, X. So that's our technical. Let's test it out without clipping in unless we need to. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Free solo. We're doing it. We're gonna do it. Uncle Bob, no belaying this time. And if I fall off the wall right now, I'm going to die. <laughs> Free solo! <laughs> Love the voice in here. <laughs> did it though. I did it. I'm standing on top of this route. Woo! Okay, X and down. Back to the bottom of the cliff. So now, Purity of Essence. Soloed. 
Yeah. Cash, 1,155. Well, now that we've got the cash, let's, uh... I don't remember where Danger Dan is. <laughs> is he on the coast, even? Wait. I bet Uncle Bob knows. Danger Dan at the River Wall. Thank you. 62 River Valley, the River Wall. Danger Dan. For $1,000, I will teach you a new climbing technique. Do you wish to learn? Yes. To perform a basic dino, hold C to power up, choose a direction, when the meter is at the right level, release C. Oh yeah, we can dino now. Sweet! I guess there's five levels of trad gear placement. Maybe four and there's another skill here, I don't know. I know there's at least one other level, because there's that one route that was like impossible to protect with anything. Hold C to power up. Next, hold the arrow keys and choose a direction. When the meter is at the right level, release C to dino. And if you're not holding a direction and you release C, it just cancels it. So there's a way to cancel it. This is from the manual, so... All this stuff that it sounds like I know about these moves that we don't have yet. And it seems like... It sounds like he's played this before. No, it's the manual. It explains quite a bit. Not everything, but quite a bit. Ah, uh, well, sweet. We know how to dino. You're not. You you're you are not ready to know what I know. All right. And then there's poke your eye out. Five point nine plus. Solid move and it moves and engaging climbing leads to a high traverse, which dis which dead ends. Set up on a good horizontal edge and chuck for the jug across the gap. The dyno is at an odd angle, so be mindful of where you set up to launch. Footwork is key on this route. First, I'm going to practice with something, though. You know that gold carabiner on the bolt ladder wall? Yeah, I think you need the dyno to get that, and... Yeah... If I can remember which wall it's on. Not here. It's like on an easy... It's like on some easy little route. Like bits and pieces, that might be it. Yeah, and it goes off over here. And you got this gold carabiner over there. So... Well, for one thing, I'm gonna get back into harness. So I wonder what's up there. Nothing on top of the wall, so yeah, no point in needlessly risking my life here. Just go, yay, I soloed up there for no reason. This this hold is so useless now. I remember when that was necessary. Okay. Let's climb up here. Ah, jeez. Ah! That power meter goes pretty fast. I wasn't expecting that. Oh well, better to practice now than later. He goes, woohoo! So yeah, dynamic move is when all of your limbs leave the wall. So, yeah. So let's try that again. Ah, oh, jeez. That, uh, wasn't quite what I was expecting there. Hmm. It seems like I should be able to get over there, but, uh... Hmm. Dang it. Hmm. <laughs> I think I accidentally released it on the bottom again. Gosh darn it. Ay, ay, ay.
<laughs> oh goodness, we can jump now. Dino. Basically, it's basically it's jumping. Eh. It doesn't seem like I can jump all that far. I think it depends on my physical skill, which is 44 points. I really shouldn't be that bad at it. Eh. But it is a gold carabiner. I mean, it's supposed to be hard to get, right? Let's retrieve my quick draw, though. Yeah. Okay. There's another thing I wanted to test, speaking of dinoing, uh, the Hall of DeWalt and Bosch over here. Uh, there is a, dang it, it's not there. Eh. I'll forget that then. Uh, well, let's see. Guidebooks. Poke your eye out is over on fun and games. Yes, it's fun and games until someone loses an eye. Then it's just horrifying. So poke your eye out. Solid moves and engaging climbing leads to a high traverse, which dead ends. Set up on a good horizontal edge, then chuck for the jug across the gap. The dino is at an odd angle, so be mindful of where you set up to launch. Footwork is key on this route. If we on-site this, I'll be really surprised. At least it's a sport route, so it's one less thing to worry about. Four... Huh. And then... So it's just a four-bolter? One, two, three, four, yeah. And then you hop over here and... Huh, okay. Probably some cruxing somewhere. Ugh. Okay. Oh my. This is the nerve wracking moment. We're going to be dinoing. <laughs> ah, jeez, what? No. Oh. Ah. Man. Okay, it is at an odd angle, but still, come on, I thought I had that. Okay. Ugh. Man, this is nuts. I guess I need more physical skill then. Ah! Shit. <sighs> there is no invisible wall or... You know, there are times you want invisible walls and there isn't any. Why is that? Yeah. <sighs> Dang it. Well, at least it sounded like we got another point, so... Yay. Oh my heck, though. At least it's not a, in a convenient spot where I, you know, die if I fall off. Ah, yeah! dang it! Mm. Man. Dinoing is kind of tricky. Mm. 
that, and once again, I don't know if it's me doing it wrong, or if I don't have the right stats to do it, or... Sometimes it's hard to know what it is exactly. Uh, I just can't seem to jump far enough. Even if it, even if the power meter is high. Uh. I'm gonna try once more at a completely horizontal angle, and if I can't do it, then I might have to just go elsewhere and improve my physical stat or something. Like, say, unlock that new that new area and see what there is I can do there. See what's new. See if there's any fun stuff over there. <laughs> what? What? Oh, come on. How was that falling? Did I go a little high? I might have. Let me try setting up for that again. Ugh. I don't do it this next time, yeah. Ugh. My gosh. Just crazy. Ugh. What? Did I mess it? I messed it up. I went too little. Like it looped back around. Didn't it? Dang it. Ugh, that power meter moves so fast. Ugh. Dang it, and this time I hit X. Frick's sake. It's always something, huh? Okay. Let's try this once more. Ugh. What the heck? Screw this. I can't seem to do this right now. Ugh. Grade 510B and I still can't seem to do that. Ugh. Ugh. I don't know how you do it. I don't know. So irritating. Uh, okay. Now well, let's go try and find some gear on some routes we can climb and sell it. See if we can gain a couple hundred bucks and Gain access to the next place, maybe. Capitulation. Well, there's a quick draw. Three, four, five. Yeah, I can do this. I can dig it. Woo! One of the tricky balance sections. Okay, get into this rest hold, and then we venture onwards. Mm. 
Man. Okay. Oh gosh, no, 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 no. Fuuuuck. Shit balls. <sighs> dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. Ugh, and this is when I need 90 experience to get a point. Losing all my experience is, uh, not the most pleasant thing then. All because I didn't pack enough quick draws somehow. What the frick? Seven. Now I need to get quick draws just to recover the amount of gear I had before. Ay, ay, ay. The troubles of a climber. A climber whose only source of income is uh, finicky sponsors and gear he can find left on the wall. <laughs> and random bits of cash that are on the wall for no apparent reason. Alright. Coolios. Okay. It says there's still booty on the wall somewhere, but I think it's a gold carabiner I can't get yet. Probably. There's nothing on this wall. No blue indicator on the right, so... Not here either. There's something here. Not on that route, though. Yeah, this is what happens when you need money, but you don't have any good new routes to do. You have to scout around all the old ones for gear you may be able to pick up. Heh. <laughs> uh. There's a clue, actually. I wonder. Okay, how many clips do I need? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. I wonder if I can get that clue. I swear, I review the weirdest ass shit, don't I? A rock climbing RPG. I mean, who would have thought that such a thing even existed? It just sounds so bizarre. Rock climbing RPG. Ah, yeah, well. Better than half my ideas. Furry bounty hunters. Which is a drawing idea I'm working on, but I don't know how much of an audience that's gonna reach. I doubt that'll become a full fledged product or project or. You never know, I suppose. Okay, now to try and... I got it! I got it! I got the clue! 
Well, yeah. Now to get my stuff back. Or maybe grab that cash pickup up there, too. Yeah, I think I'll do that. <laughs> I got a clue. I got a clue that was on a wall with the dino ability. That felt awesome. That was cool. What is this, a game of Blue's Clues? We... We just found a clue. Do, 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 do. We are gonna play Joe's Clues. We are gonna play Joe's Clues. <laughs> That's what it is. It's a big game of Joe's Clues. Solo Joe's Clues, anyway. Yeah. So, is that seriously what the plot of this game boils down to? Ah. <laughs> uh. My goodness. <laughs> Sounds so silly. <laughs> and that's gonna sound really silly when I go to listen to that again later. <laughs> Whoop! Well, I got it. <laughs> now to get my equipment back. And we'll have some attribute, and basically, we'll have got some experience and some, speaking of which, ooh, 460 cash. Yeah, I can definitely unlock that new area now. So that was a good cash pickup. Nice. Thank you very much. So we didn't do a whole lot of new routes in here, but we did find quite a bit of stuff. Got ourselves a new ability that has proven to be, well, sort of useful. It wasn't useful for the route I wanted to get past yet, because either I'm doing it wrong or I just don't have the physical capability yet. Which is weird, considering the difficulty of the route. But, whatever, I guess. But, uh, yeah. Hooah. All right, then. Got some good stuff. And... Go to the gear exchange. And... $200. And... Buy the guidebook. For... The whole. Inner sanctum, the dark side, the great within, the womb. Whoa! I got a flashlight on, it's a... Uh, it's cave climbing now. Ooh. Let's see if there's anybody we can talk to, and... There's <laughs> water dripping off now. <laughs> Whoa. The hole. We're, we're going spelunking. We're going cave climbing. Oh, my. Fun. I wonder if anybody's here or not. Well, this is an interesting new location. The Great Within. Was there like nobody here? I guess I'm not too surprised, considering it's a dark, dank cave, but... You'd think there'd be some crazy climbers here wanting to take advantage of the new routes. But no, just my siblings following me around, I guess. Seems like. Yeah, I don't know. Still have 239 cash. 
So if I need to, say, resole my shoes, I can do that. There's, like, nobody down here. Let's see the guidebook. My greatness, nomad. Uh, the bonus round, mystery machine, new math, ashes to ashes, water torture. <laughs> Just because you can navigate the crux doesn't mean you're done. Over on water torture. <laughs> Utility belt. Boy wonder, forced spontaneity. Voltaire, or I think it's Voltaire. Lechery, boxing. Zero defect, ribs and bones, go home and cry. Air. Four bolts, three dinos. Ugh. Spoils of war. Prometheus, fly pygmy. Clip a few bolts, then traverse down and right on good holds and clear the angled roof. The route is a bit tougher to find from here. Ugh, another typo. But basically moves left to the crux throw. I'm thinking of doing this because there's a free quick draw there, but... Uh... Whoop, you. <laughs> and then it goes left. Clip in. Clip in. There's a clip in there, uh, and then it goes up. So let me see what I need. One's already there, so one, two, three, four, five, five, I guess. We'll do a couple of routes here, and then we'll stop, I think. Okay. Eh. I think I hit the wrong button. Was I supposed to hit Z on that? Ugh. I wish I'd read the manual on dead point cruxes. <laughs> there we go. I can time. Suckers. There we go. That's a lot of... Dead... Ah, frick, I didn't get a second chance or nothing. M missed it. Oh, nope. Gosh darn it. I know I can do this. Those dead points are kind of tricky, though. You only have so much time to do them, after all. Okay. <sighs> Dang. Okay. Okay. Oh, wait. Nope, I guess I wasn't supposed to do that. Maybe I was supposed to go off to the right? I don't know. Hmm. Let's try that again, I guess. Ow! I like a bug bit my hand or something. Okay. Jeez. Okay. There we go. What the frick? No! I hit twice and I like missed just barely on both of them or something. Gosh dang it. 
I don't remember that showing up before. Man. These dead point cruxes are tricky, tricky. Yeah. Frank. Get it! There we go. Ugh. Okay. Ugh, dang it. Where do I go from there? No. The heck? Where do I go? This is... Ah, uh, come on. Come on. I don't even know where to go. What the heck? Or... Now that looks like a different route altogether. I think it is, actually. Because now they clip in at two separate places, so... so am I supposed to be able to jump that? If so, I'm toast, because I can't. No way in heck I can do that. Where was the one that said it was good introduction? I want to do something. Duh. Uh, for spontaneity. A great introduction to the whole. This route is technical and offers aspiring climbers with a great opportunity for an on-site. And if you're up to it, this short route would be a great on-site solo. Right, yeah. Okay. It's looking like mostly small nuts and such. Bring a couple of small camming devices just in case, but yeah. Let's do this. Okay. What? No, I... You saw that. I cleared it, and I still fell. What the shitballs. And it was off angle, like something was glitchy about it. Saw that too, right? <sighs> what the heck? It's not my recording software, is it? The game's just being... Nope, see, it was aligned that time. Eh, <sighs> whatever. Okay. Jeez. Ugh. My gosh. These dead point cruxes are crazy, and you only get a couple of shots to do them, so... Ugh. 
Dang. Okay. Yep, yep. Starting to wear out my shoes again. Uh. I guess I need to increase my physical skill a bit for the dinos or something. Uh. These things that are grade 5, 9 or whatever is like really difficult because for some reason I can't seem to dino over it properly, so that's great, right? <laughs> uh. Eh, well, let's try one more thing before we leave, actually. Paid and Fool. I want to see if I can solo it. So the last thing we do, I think, for this part, and then... Yeah. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Clip. Actually, there's a beaner down there, too. Let's see if I can dino to that. Oops. Dang it. Head up instead of down. We... Stupid am I. Very stupid. Up. Down. Up. Okay. Dang it. Man. Oh, man. Up. Down. Up. Ah. I didn't do that one properly. Or am I even supposed to do that for that? Hmm. Up. Down. Up. Eh. Oh, there we go. Got it. <laughs> uh, dang it. Well, let's get the beaner off my rack there, because I obviously don't need to carry it around. Up, down, up. Okay. Just scout out this route here and see about trying to solo that. Okay. Scout it out here. Up. Down. Up. Just wasn't confident about that technical crux. Let's see. Let's see what kind of energy I have after that. Up, down, up. Ah, oh, yeah, I can do that. Okay, let's solo that, and then I think we'll be done. Harness off. Now it just got real. Up. Down. Up. Yes. Okay. Chalk. Wait. 
tap out. Sweet. Okay. Cool. $551. And we're grade 510B. Although, given that we can't seem to do grade 59 pluses that have dinos in them, I have to wonder. Maybe if I'm up to like 50 physical or something, it'll help me. I don't know. And we've done a couple new solos, even. Paid in full and purity of essence that we have free soloed, which is pretty cool. All right. Let's tie back in so that we don't forget later. And I think that is it for part seven now. This is Tanara Kurinov signing off. See you next time for some more climbing action or RPG or whatever. See you next time.